What's going on guys? Geosnow right here. Today I have some great news about Pangu yet again. So in my previous video we discussed about the fact that Pangu, uh, the Pangu jailbreak team, are going to be at ZeroCon, which is a conference about hacking and mobile security in general. But we also discussed about the fact that they are apparently not dead. Well, not dead in that term, but they didn't uh, left the jailbreak community because you probably know Pangu hasn't been active in over a year and the last jailbreak we've got for them uh, from them was for iOS 9.3.3 and we never heard anything about them after that. But we now know that they're going to be at zero con. We discussed about this, you know about this, they're going to be um, speakers and also trainers. You have them in here alongside with Eye and Beard, due to which we have the iOS 10.x jailbreak. And you have them in here, as I say, they're going to also have a couple of trainings about advanced 64-bit iOS kernel exploitation. What about that? Well, the good news are coming. They're also going to be at MOSIC 2017 because they're also the organizers of the MOSIC conference. So yeah, MOSIC stands for Mobile Security Conference. And why is this even important for you? I mean, the average Joe doesn't even understand what is going to be talked in here. Usually these conferences are for people who are interested in uh, InfoSec or information security and know what the hell is happening in here. As you can see, Pangu's topics in here are not yet uh, written. We know who is going to, to talk in the beginning or the introduction. Uh, we're talking about this uh, guy in here, but we do not know what Pangu is going to talk about. So um, yeah, this is pretty interesting. Of course, there's still time to put the information on the website as the conference, the Mosaic is going to be held on uh, June, at the end of June. But why is this important for you? Well, it is, because it means that Pangu isn't as dead as we thought. At first, they're going to be at ZeroCon, and now they're organizing and they're going to be speakers at the MOSEC, which means that we might get some good information about that. I don't know if you remember, but last time at MOSEC, back in 2016, at MOSEC 2016, they have demoed the first iOS 10 jailbreak, as Redmond Pi is um, actually saying in here, Quote, Pango demos iOS 10 jailbreak at Mosaic. Hint at iOS 9.3.2 jailbreak release coming soon. So uh, this was posted on um, July 1st. 2016, so back in the same period, uh, in the same time frame as the Mosaic that is going to be held this year. What this means? This means we might get some great news uh, similar to this again, which means uh, and hints the fact that Pangu isn't in fact dead, they are just in their, in their normal stealth mode. Probably you know, compared to look at Adesco or other jailbreakers, Pangu isn't really that active in the social media. Their Twitter is not that active, they don't actually post about anything else like uh, look at Adesco does and I don't I don't say that look at Adesco does something bad with the fact that he is active socially but Pangu is in that you know hidden mode uh, you never know what when they're going to release anything you never know what they're going to release and this helps them to prevent Apple from patching bugs very easy and so on of course this means that the uh, jailbreak that they create is usually targeted to a smaller amount of people because a lot of people update but yeah this is the uh, problem as I always said stay on the on the uh, smallest version possible if you're on iOS 10.2 stay on iOS 10.2 if you're on iOS 10.2.1 and you did update it from 10.2 then do not update to 10.3 or 10.3.1 the more you update the the less chances you have to jailbreak so this is actually the important things guys they're going to be speakers at Mosaic as well which means again they're going to be active again in this field and being a mobile security conference I expect something about either jailbreaking or something related iOS exploits kernel exploits or kernel exploitation and so on to um, uh, if you want to to take a look at this video in which I talked about the zero con at zero con they're going to talk as I said about uh, exploiting the 64-bit iOS kernel so Again, something important for the jailbreaking. I think the future looks bright for the jailbreaking because Pangu is back in the business, if you ask me. Now, this is something good because we do need developers. As look at this code said, he's not going to make any jailbreak anymore. He just left out of the jailbreak community because, yeah, he did release that uh, jailbreak. You know, um, he used actually the exploits published by Iron Beer and a couple of exploits he had stockpiled over the time and created that jailbreak. But then the community was a little bit harsh and 
yeah, he decided not to make any jailbreaks anymore. And therefore, we do need Pangu to be uh, again in the jailbreak community. So this is something good. Again, guys, if you want to follow up for more information, go ahead on Twitter, follow me if you didn't already. And I'm usually posting about jailbreaking, about uh, things related. So you might like the videos and you might like the uh, tweets I post. And you might stay in, uh, in touch with them. To be able to get the information as fast as possible, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. I'm going to keep you updated with anything that happens on the jailbreak scene and also with Pango. Until the next time, I'm Geosnow. Peace out.